President Joe Biden is officially out of the presidential race. The announcement comes just a few days after Trump gave his 92-minute speech at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. In a statement written on X from Biden, he states, quote, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term, end quote. Biden then posted to his ex account his full support and endorsement to Kamala Harris. Local representatives react to the news, including Congressman Salud Carbajal, who issued a written statement saying, quote, in one term as president of the United States, Joe Biden has achieved what most presidents in modern times could not. He has guided the United States of America back from the depths of a deadly pandemic and devastating economic downturn to increase the strongest economy in the world, end quote. Like President Biden did on his social media page, Carbajal also endorsed Harris for the Democratic nominations. Both parties reacted to the news, including the chair of the Santa Barbara County GOP committee, Bobby McGinnis. The news today was not surprising that Joe Biden is going to be stepping down. But what is surprising is that it didn't happen a lot sooner. For the Republican Party, our message is still the same. We want to bring back a safe America, a wealthy America, and we want to bring back a strong America. And the man to do that, the president to do that, is former President Donald Trump. While the world reacts to the news from Biden today, I came to downtown Santa Barbara to hear what the locals had to say. Oh, I didn't hear he dropped out. I actually did not hear that. Oh, my goodness. And while some local residents were finding out from us that Biden dropped out of the election, one of the questions I asked was, how will the election impact Santa Barbara County residents and businesses? The question for me is, uh, how will it impact the country? Will it unify us? And so if it unifies the country, it will unify Santa Barbara. I do believe if Kamala was in the seat, I do believe medication costs would be more at what they're at now, maybe going lower, possibly. I believe that if um, Trump was president, I don't think he'd really give a dang about my, my, my epilepsy medicine being expensive. Former Santa Barbara County District Attorney Joyce Studley shared her support to Kamala Harris as November approaches. If our country gets to know the Kamala Harris that I know, they will want her to be president of the United States. Dudley has known Kamala Harris for 15 years when there were eight women district attorneys in California out of 58 counties. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Andy Lopez-Barnett.